corporate Democrats are begging Republicans to try to be decent human beings uh, by supporting the bipartisan commission to investigate the Capitol insurrection happened on January 6th, uh, you know, where people were killed and injured and property was destroyed, damaged, feces were smeared on the walls, that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, Republicans not in favor of this. Uh, but here you have a joint statement from Senator Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema, calling the create calling for the creation of a commission, quote, critical to prevent such an attack from uh, occurring again. So now look, I'm behind the commission. Uh, I think most Americans are. We want to find out what happened. You know why why this happened. I mean, I, I already have my ideas. Donald Trump, the Republican Party, Fox News, uh, and all that pushing, uh, you know, these, these ridiculous election lies uh, and letting Donald Trump essentially uh, go crazy with this rhetoric uh, about there being massive election fraud that you can't prove, that there is no evidence of because it didn't actually happen. Uh, that said, they beg. The Democrats are begging them. Quote, we implore our Senate Republican colleagues to work with us to find a path forward on a commission to examine the events of January 6th. But why? Why would Republicans support a commission that would essentially condemn themselves and their own voters? And would also, by the way, point out their own complicity in what happened. Th this is like asking corrupt cops to support an investigation into corruption in the police department. You think they care? You think they're going to go? Oh, yeah, no. Uh, what, you know, here's what it's going to do. We found... Um, yeah, we found that uh, nothing happened. Yeah, that's it. If they ever had that commission. I mean, seriously. They're not going to look into it. They don't want to. They're going to have to be forced to look into January 6th because they don't like what they know they're going to find. And so what they're going to do is they're going to block it. They're going to filibuster it. Again, the majority of Republicans in office are complicit in spreading the big lie about the election. And even if you're not, you're still in favor of things uh, that contribute to the idea that there was massive voter fraud. Uh, for example, Liz Cheney came out and said, well, you know, uh, even though I don't believe in the big lie, I still believe in voter suppression. Uh, I'm still in favor of these laws uh, that restrict voters. And the whole basis for those laws that she supports are the idea that there's voter fraud. So, yeah. Now, obviously, uh, if not enough Republicans support this, well, then Manchin and Cinema, well, they're going to have to do one thing, uh, destroy the filibuster. That is the one thing that they don't want to do, or I should say one of the many things that they want to do uh, that would actually help, you know, it, it bring forward policy that is popular. Uh, they don't want to do that. They've refused to do that. Now, the House, however, House Democrats have already passed a bill that would set up a 10-member panel of outside experts. And I, and I give you this context because it's to show you what Republicans are against creating. There would be five appointed Democrats, five appointed Republicans, as well as some outside, uh, outside experts, okay, to investigate what went wrong on January 6th and to recommend policy changes. Only 35 Republicans supported that bill, which had been written by a Republican and Democrat. You had Benny Thompson of Mississippi and John Katko of New York, the top lawmakers in the Homeland Security Council, or I'm sorry, committee. Uh, and only th only 35 Republicans supported that. The mass majority of Republicans against it. And it's, it's worse in the Senate. You're going to have all Republicans against it, essentially. They're openly hostile to the entire idea of investigating what happened on January 6th. Uh, and of course, the reason is because you've got your, you, you, you basically got your base who is under control of Daddy Trump. HuffPost notes that Republicans fear that a months-long investigation would anger the former president and hurt them politically during next year's midterm elections, because of course... And then you even have so-called anti-Trump Republicans like Mitch McConnell uh, saying this, that he views the January 6th commission as a, quote, purely political exercise, and that he would rather focus on the 
uh, Biden administration and not the events in the past. Oh, we don't want to look at the past. You know, we don't want to look at the stuff that we did. No, no, because it looks... Uh... Oh, look over there, Biden. Squirrel, squirrel. Go focus on that. This is incredibly rich coming from a party that, you know, basically looked into... I don't know how many times they held hearings about Benghazi and Hillary Clinton's emails. It was a lot. At least seven Benghazi investigations and how many hours of depositions about Hillary Clinton's personal emails. I mean, it's it's hypocritical. They like setting up bullshit commissions and doing partisan hearings. I mean, they wrote the goddamn manual on it. Why would anybody in their right minds believe that Republicans are good faith actors and would actually listen to reason and do the right thing? Oh, right. People that think Republicans are right, like Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema. We always knew that Manchin was trash. Of course. But Cinema, Cinema fooled a lot of people. She actually ran as a progressive, uh, but then was one of the main people who voted down increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour. She basically betrayed workers everywhere with a thumbs down. Those two are the absolute worst that we have in the Senate. Neither of them believe that you should have single-payer health care or a living wage and are out here now begging Republicans to be decent human beings when you know it's not going to happen. And you know what? They're out there begging right now because they don't want to be forced into a spot where they can betray their beloved filibuster. And I don't know how else to put it. I think they want Republicans to win. They want Republicans to have power. Because they think Republicans are right. So much for Democrats, right? Jesus. And right now, they need at least 10 Republicans to join them in advancing the bill. But again, that's not going to happen. One, you have Donald Trump, as I said. Here's what Trump said. Unless the murders, riots, and fire bombings in Portland, Minneapolis, Seattle, Chicago, and New York are going to be studied... The discussion should be ended immediately. They're completely different things. They're the completely different things. And then, of course, you've got Republicans that are too scared for Trump, are too scared of Trump. Uh, they're too complicit in this, or they just don't care. They don't care what happened on January 6th. They also know that even though they're technically in the minority, they've got people like Joe Manchin that are going to run cover for them. Who even admitted, by the way, Joe Manchin said, well, if they block this, well, then I'm not gonna, I'm still not going to blow up the filibuster. Well, then why vote for it? Why? When you know that Joe Manchin is going to run cover for your ass, why would you do anything? Yeah, it makes no sense. And look, for the, for the people who seem to believe that Republicans might be acting in good faith, uh, I, got, I got this to say. Stop. They're not. They're not good faith actors. Their entire goal is to raise money and own the libs. And that's it. The more and the more they own the libs, the more money, the, the, the more money they make from the base. They don't give a damn about democracy. They never did. And if they did, they wouldn't continue to assault voting rights. And they certainly wouldn't be blocking the commission. They don't care. Their entire party is rotten to the core. What we need to do is chuck out the filibuster. And actually try to get things done. And I understand that even if we got rid of the filibuster, Joe Manchin's still not going to do anything. And if he's not willing to do anything, Biden, Biden should be willing, if he was actually serious about getting stuff done, then he would be willing to go to war against Manchin and bully him until they go with what Biden wants and the rest of the American people uh, and the rest of the party. That is, of course, unless... Uh, you're admitting that the rest of the party and Biden don't actually want to get these things done, don't actually care about doing the American family plan, don't actually care about $4 trillion in infrastructure, don't care about child care, don't care about paid leave. What is it, Biden? If you do, if you actually care about it, well, then you'd fight for it. Even if that means calling out your precious Joe Manchin and your precious Chris Kirsten Cinema. I'm not saying that you win if you do that. And that they'll relent. But I'm saying you should try it. But if you don't do anything and you let Republicans block you and then you let Manchin get away with not blowing up the filibuster, well, then it's very likely you didn't care 
But it's also likely that people will see that you don't care and they're not going to vote for you. You're going to lose. You're going to lose your majority because you didn't deliver. You didn't do your job. So if you actually do care, well, you might want to you might want to do something about it before it's too late. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.